So let's let's just start. Let's let's just start. Let's start. The first thing that I do is wash my hands. I always wash my hands before I wash my face, right? So I'll go ahead and I wash my hands. So almond oil. So I, the funny story. I used to use coconut oil and um, Glam RX here on on YouTube and. Jackie Ina said don't rip your eyelashes off so I started like using the oil to take off my lashes and no I don't know I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just do it I'm gonna just go for it went for it did it peel them off all right so La Beautyologist I believe that's how you pronounce it or LA Beautyologist I don't know um, but Golden RX here on YouTube she said don't use coconut oil I was like all right bet so I stopped using coconut oil start using this the almond oil and I will say I do see and feel a difference, right? So that is that. <laughs> we are currently doing what she calls an oil cleanse, what I call breaking down the dirt and debris from the day. I'm going up into my hairline, my little edges, and I learned the whole edges thing from Jackie Aina too because she's like, that's how a lot of people get like acne and pimples in the hairline because they don't clean the edges. So I do all this oil cleanse, um, usually 20 seconds. I do believe I went over 20 seconds just now, but that's that. But like I said, it's just to break down the makeup. So I take a clean paper towel and wipe all of that away. Cause even though I don't have makeup all over my face, I do have makeup over my eyes. When I did my brows and my lashes. Go again and wash my hands again. I know it's kind of obsessive, compulsive, I don't know what you want to call it, but I wash my hands again and from here I go into my regular cleanse. Now usually I use, let me turn that off, usually I use the Juju Awesome Black Soap which is this little bit that I have left, right? And I would normally replace that or use this again, but I recently got this soap from true to your roots this is their turmeric and rosemary bar it has a bunch of natural ingredients in there which i will list for you guys <laughs> but this is what i'm incorporating into my nighttime routine we'll see how it works if my skin likes it and then we go from there and i use like cool water to wash my face not too too cold but you know it's florida so the time kind of hot Right? And according to La Beautyologist or LA Beautyologist, you probably pronounce her name, Golden RX here on YouTube. <laughs> it's the lather that cleans the face. So I get a nice thick lather and then I cleanse for 60 seconds. So you call into 60 while I'm while you're washing your face, right? And I don't do it too rough. I'm very gentle with everything that I'm doing. I don't want to tug on my skin too much. Which is kind of why I love my routine too because it's so in-depth. I don't need to like really scrub scrub my face and this soap is it, oh, so soft. It's like rubbing satin silk all over your face. It feels so good. Can you see how white the suds are? If I had makeup on, like if, all right, if I had makeup all over my face, I should say, <laughs> it would have been a lot dirtier than this and like I say get into your hairline all that edge control and cheese bomb and whatever you had to hold on your edges forget it get it out get it all out because you don't want bumps in your hairline and I, and I haven't been counting has it been 60 seconds yet oh gosh I'm here talking and not paying attention but this soap feels so good Get your eyelids and then you rinse. All right, and again, paper towel dry, bad boy. Next, I take another paper towel <laughs> and I'm going to go in with my micellar water. Now, I used to use the uh, makeup wipes, I used to use makeup wipes, but Jackie Aina <laughs> said that it strips. Your skin it's not the best thing to use was it jackie anna who said it or was it la beautyologist 
one of them said it. So ever since then, I switched to my cello water and I gently rub to get off any excess makeup, which again, I don't have any makeup down here on my face. I'm only doing this for the purposes of the video. Um, yeah, <laughs> but that will cleanse. And as you can see, I use a lot. That's why there's a residue on my face. Maybe if you use less, you won't have as much of a residue. But I also read that you should rinse, even though it says you don't have to rinse your micellar water, you should rinse it off because it does leave a residue, which obviously we have a residue. So throw that away. That was clean. Throw that away. And we're gonna rinse our face again. Rinsed. And go back in with another paper towel. We use a lot of paper towels in this house, okay? So make sure if you're sleeping over at somebody's house, they have enough paper towel for you to use, okay? Okay. So that is it for the cleansing. Now we're going to go into the treatments. I always wipe my, my counter off. I don't like seeing water droplets on my sink. I, I wipe everything. All right. So this is the part where I would go into the bedroom because that's where I have my skincare fridge and I keep all my little skincare nice and cool. But for the purposes of this video, we are here in the loop, okay? And yes, I know I drink in wine in the bathroom. Whatever, judge yourself, okay? All right. <laughs> so like I said, the cleansing part is over. I take a cotton pad and I take my glycolic acid from The Ordinary onto the cotton pad like so. And we're just going to wipe. And again, I'm not rough with it. Because I do not want to tug on my skin too much. And of course, you want to get into the hairline, under the chin. If you want to hit your neck, you can hit your neck as well. But again, we just showered, so your neck, you know, yeah. Huh? But apparently, you know, you can tell a woman's age by her hands and her neck, so. All right, so that's that, glycolic acid. Now, <laughs> La Beautyologist says that your, your skincare is not supposed to sting or it doesn't sting or whatever, but if it's not stinging, how, how do I know it's working, right? All right. <laughs> so after I do the glycolic acid, I go in with my hyaluronic acid. Oh. <laughs> I, after I do the glycolic acid, I go in with the hyaluronic acid, also from The Ordinary, and I just take a couple drops of that this one is very sticky but this is going to add the moisture back into my skin i just did three drops and la beautyology said do not let your dropper touch your skin but obviously mine just did sorry <laughs> and i rub that in again i am being okay right now i'm not being gentle right now i'm not being gentle at all i'm very rough and i don't know why but do as I say, not as I do. Do not be rough <laughs> with your skin. And I want to believe that my skin has come a long way since, you know, since I started my journey. I still have a, a ways to go, but you know, skin has come true. She had a really good thing and thing. So the next thing I do is my under eyes. You can see I have dark under eye circles. That is in part to the fact that I am anemic. Apparently when you're anemic, you don't have enough something to go into the thing with the blood cells and blah, blah, blah. So I'm supposed to be taking my iron pills and my vitamin K or is it vitamin C, whatever. I don't do that. I feel like I'm gonna have dark circles forever, but I'm not putting that energy out there. So I'm going to get rid of my dark circles. It's going to go away, I'm going to be flawless. So I take this Carawhite Serum. Carawhite Serum, Carawhite is a popular lightning product here in the US of A's and I believe also in Jamaica and also in Africa and a lot of places actually. Um, this one has, it is infused with carrot oil. It says you're supposed to use it on the entire body twice a day after a bath. I do believe it has hydroquinone in it. Yes, it does, 2% hydroquinone and um, vitamin E and it has some carrots in there. So this is what I use under my eye and under my eye only and under my chin like I have these dark spots that I'm trying to get rid of so I take a little <laughs> I take a little bit of the carawhite on my ring finger and just dab it under my eye like that 
and I use my ring finger because it is the least um, it's not as strong it's not as you see how the other finger them can move up and down with freely and whatever the ring finger kind of stiff so it's going to do less damage less pulling to the under eye see right there is way too much I'll put some of that under here and do not get this in your eye it will burn bone out your eye after I do my under eye treatments, I go in with my, nope, not my moisturizer. I go in with, no, I do go with my moisturizer. What am I saying? It's moisturizer. And I use the <laughs> Ole Active Hydrating Hydration Active Good Ole Oil of Ole. You can get this in your local CVS, your local Walmart, your local Walgreens, anywhere there. And I take a little tops. I don't take a lot, right? Now, because this was in my fridge and I took it out of the fridge, it kind of starts to curdle. <laughs> so I take a little bit of that and I daub it on the one, two, three, five points of my face. <laughs> Cause I heard, I learned that when you put it in the middle of your hand and you put it in your palm, it wastes the product, which makes sense, right? So I do that and then I rub it all in. Again, being very gentle with the skin. And then I try not to go over where I put the carrot serum just now because I do not want to waste that product, okay? So that's that. And then after that, I go in with, again, the ordinary 100% organic cold press road, rose hip seed oil. 100% cold press rose hip seed oil. And I take that. Oh, no station. And I just squeeze up a little bit. That's how it looks. And then I just drop a couple little drops, three drops. It does say to drop it on your hand and then rub it on your face, on your fingertips, and then rub it in your face, but this is more fun to do it this way. So we do it this way. Like we are beauty influencers on Instagram. Oh, for my lips, I usually just put Carmex on before I go to bed, because when you wake up in the morning, and you kiss your honey bunny, your lips are nice and soft and supple. Yes. All right. Now after I do that, I do have these two roller ball thingies. I also keep these two in my skincare fridge and this is what I use just to roll the products into my skin and it make, it just relaxes you. It's a nice soothing thing to do at the end of the long, long day. And I alternate each day. So if one day, if yesterday I use this, today I'll use this, which I believe yesterday I used this. So today I'm gonna go with the Rose Quartz. That one, the green one is the Jade. Jade, I think, all right. So for the big part, I go one, two, three, I roll it 10 times in one spot. And when it's cool, it just feels so good. And it just relaxes you, it just calms you. Gets you ready for the nighttime. Makes your product sink into your skin. And I don't know if I'm counting to 10, but let me use my fingers, maybe that's 10. And you don't want to roll back and forth. You wanna roll in one direction, one direction. And I like to go up away from gravity because you don't want to, you know, I, I, I don't know what number I'm at. You don't want to increase your chances of getting a sad face and wrinkles. And then the smaller parts, I go under my eye, get that serum in there. Who knows? Since doing my skincare routine, I'm noticing a lot of more, a lot of more. <laughs> <laughs> I have beauty marks popping up all over the place. I have low key, have freckles popping up all over the place. <laughs> all these little beautiful things I didn't know I had. <laughs> all right, so that is it for my face, right? Then what I do next? Oh, if you want to bring some of that serum down to your neck, you should, you know, you should. What I do next is go into my hair, right? And if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I posted that I am the brand, new brand ambassador for Amiga's Garden Essentials, A-G-E. And you can shop her products, A-G-Essentials.us. <laughs> Again, a link will be in the bio. 
but this oil here is 100% vegan, all natural. I do have a flaky issue. So the product, the oil that I'm using right now is great for if you have dandruff, if your hair is slow to grow, this is great for that. And it comes with a little dropper thingy majiggy. I don't believe all products come with a dropper, but tell her I'm using you and tell her say you want a dropper. All right. So what I do is just section my hair. See, section it and then oil in between. <laughs> There's no space here. <laughs> so I take it and this oil, honey, funny. I'm trying to regrow this little patch right here. So my friend dig out. And I use this when I um like before I do my little baby hairs and stuff, I put this as a base, right? Before I do my baby hairs. So I just oil my just put it on your scalp and rub it in. Simple. Take some put a drop off. I just rub it on your scalp and that's it. And it's going to, I, this is my third night using it. Usually I have to like, um, if I do this at night with any other oil, I have to do it again in the morning. With this, I notice I don't have to do it again in the morning. And not just that, like I'll go throughout the day without any flaking or dryness or anything like that. So, so far I, I'm loving the oil. I'll just take it and apply it straight to my scalp. And I probably shouldn't be putting the drop on my scalp, but you know what? Whatever. Easy. Fuck it. I shouldn't have said that in a video. I'm sorry. I'll try to bleep that out. But yeah. Just grease your scalp at night. And then this oil does not stink. It doesn't smell at all. Even though it has all these oils in there, these essential oils and stuff, it does not have a foul odor. Like, you know how wild girls have that nasty smell? This does not have that nasty smell. You know castor oil have that nasty smell? This do have that nasty smell. So you just go through all your hair. Your, your, your boyfriend probably wondering what you're doing in the bathroom so long, but by the time you come out, listen, I'm not gonna forget about how long you was in here. And just, you know, yeah. Deal with the things, feel me? So we just finished one side, we go on to the next. And I just squeeze it on there, you see, a little bit goes a long way. You don't need a lot. You just pick up a lot in the drop on. Just take a little bit and put it and then rub it in. You massage it. And you know, of course, massaging your scalp, it stimulates hair growth. So you go through. You do that, you do that, you do that, that, that. And then when you're done, again, massage it in. Massage it in. Whatever residue you have left over, rub it, you know, on your temples. Oh, I didn't grease my temples today. I? No, I did not. See, this, this is why I don't like using edge control and stuff. Like, all this product build up. Oh, it's killing me. All right, so let's do my edges real quick. Gotta have real hair and edges. Especially since I'm trying to, like, grow up my little patch right here. So, Jesus. I was so shook when I saw it. I was like, what in the world happened there? My little baby here then. Is there not no baby here? These are full grown adults paying rent. Light bill, cable bill, water bill. I'm trying to get a mortgage. All right. Then what I would normally do afterwards is take a little spoolie, brush up my little eyebrow, them so they look neat, and then place and put together. And you can put your hair back into a bun. You can leave it down. You can put it to the side. I love this hairstyle so much. Like, <laughs> like no lie, I love this hairstyle so much. All right, toss it to the side. No, let's do a center part. Let's bring it back down a little. Let's bring it back. 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 She look a baby here, though. Like a teenager here, though. Like a preteen here, though. Alright, that's that for the purposes of this video. I had to wear a bra underneath this because you know. But that is the video. And then with this oil, again, you can rub it all over your skin. A tip before you go to bed, make sure that you lotion your feet. 
so that when you're snuggling with your hun, you don't, you know, scratch up them foot when you cross the foot them. So yeah, that is all for today's, what's my name? Tipsy makeup artist. <laughs> How to catfish your partner without makeup in the nighttime. Until next time, peace sign and kissy face.